News suspended its transplant program last summer. Fox 12's Kelsey Watts is live tonight with her story. Kelsey. Well, when that happened, 20 people were on OHSU's wait list, and Yvonne Cooper was right on the verge of being added to that list. She told me today she was about to go in for her second evaluation and workup at OHSU when she learned the transplant program was suspended. Well, that left me just wondering what was going to happen. Yvonne has a daughter and is also raising her son's two young kids, so she has a lot of people depending on her and worried she wasn't going to make it. She was already a patient at Providence St. Vincent and says her doctors here helped guide her through the process. They referred her to the University of Washington for a transplant, but then she developed a rare infection in the pump that kept her heart going and then got high blood pressure. It meant she had to be admitted to the hospital in Seattle, and that's when something amazing happened. When the time of waiting for a room in the emergency room, a heart came available for me that very day. <laughs> I can't explain to you the emotion that I had. It was just mind boggling. It's like, wow, I'm gonna get to live. I will be able to take care of my children. <laughs> And they transplanted me the very next day. That was back in October, and she's still making regular visits to UW for checkups. In fact, she just had a biopsy there yesterday and says everything is looking great. She says she is so thankful to her doctors and her entire care team here because now she literally has a new lease on life and will be here to continue to raise her grandchildren. She says she was also financially supported through this process because having the transplant in Seattle essentially meant she had to move there for a few months after her surgery. And a third party non profit called Project Access Now helped her thanks to a donation from the Providence Foundation. She says she can never repay this gift, but she will do whatever she can to support this program in the future. Live at St. Vincent tonight, Kelsey Watts, Fox 12 Oregon.